Well, there are probably various reasons why it's not agile, but I think the, the core reason is in the fact that the architectures today are very database-centric. Uh, most of the architectures are built like one chain of databases. Uh, let me explain that. Uh, if you look at a, a classic architecture, uh, what you see is data is coming from a production environment, number of databases, is then copied yeah, into a staging area, then copied into a production uh, data warehouse environment and then onwards it's copied into data marts and then here we have most of the reports running the reports are accessing those data marts now in principle this works but as you can probably understand yeah, if we want to change something in the reports if we want to add some a new field uh, delete something whatever it probably means we have to change something in the data mart database structure, we have to change something here, we have to change something here, possibly. We probably also have to change something here and here, which means it's not just a chain of databases, it's also a whole chain of changes that you have to make. And that sort of limits or you know, restricts the agility of these architectures. If you can give me 50 minutes, I can answer that. Uh, but let me try this in uh, just a couple of seconds. I think the basic reason why an architecture becomes more agile if you apply data virtualization is because of the following thing, is that the idea is that we bring in a data virtualization layer that has access to all the databases and then the reports are accessing the data virtualization server. Now the good thing about this is that this will allow me to simplify the storage architecture. Yeah, all the data here is probably also stored in the data warehouse environment. So conceptually I should be able to just drop a data mart, maybe all the data marts, and then simplify the architecture. The reports are not going to see that, they are accessing the data virtualization server, but I can simplify. And then it's very easy. The moment you simplify, you get more agility. There is less to change if you want to implement a certain change. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of self-service BI because it allows you know, the users to build their own reports. Uh, um, but in a way, you could say that if you, if you use self-service BI, self-service BI is only on this layer. And a BI architecture consists of a reporting layer, but also a storage layer. Now, if the storage layer is not really flexible, then the self-serviceness of these are is still limited. To. So if we add data virtualization, what you'll see is that also the storage level your layer becomes flexible. It will be a great combination of the two. Uh, sometimes what we say is that by adding data virtualization, yeah, we change self-service BI in managed self-service BI. Well, if we would not use data virtualization and we want to do sandboxing, what that normally means is that we have to create a separate environment, a separate database that we load with data probably coming from the data warehouse, and then we allow the data scientist, the analyst, the business user to play with that data. But building a data mart is really building a database. Uh, we have to install that, we have to load that with data. If the uh, scientists suddenly want to have more data, that's a lot of work. Uh, if we use data virtualization, what we're going to do is we're going to build a virtual yeah, data mart for them. And virtual means that's a lot easier to build, uh, cost less time, cost less money, is also easier to change. So it's like moving from a physical sandbox to a virtual sandbox is a lot more flexible. Good question. Uh, collaboration of the two now, yeah, in a classic architecture, um, we don't really collaborate. Uh, what we do is that the business users ask for something and then we go off and we build something and a few weeks later there is a solution and then hopefully it's a solution that the business user wants. Uh, the moment we bring in data virtualization what we can really do is sort of sit together. Yeah, the user asks for something, we can build it, we can define it and right away we can really show yeah, what the result looks like. Uh, if he wants to change a little we can implement that change straight on. Uh, so instead of uh, having an, um, a situation where the two don't really work together at all, uh, we get a total yeah, collaborative environment. And what we're seeing in projects is that users really, really like this. 
I think the bottom line is very easy. What we see is that the businesses are changing. Uh, businesses have to make their decisions much faster. There's less and less time to make decisions. Organizations have to react much faster. And, and what we're doing is we're building systems to support those decision-making processes. If, if those decision-making processes are changing, we just have to follow. Uh, so we have to be able to build systems that are more easy to change and data virtualization is absolutely going to help with that.